Hello guys and welcome here to the Carvana Wildcard Series. This is race number three here today from Autodromo Hernandez Rodriguez, I believe it is. Um, either way, we'll just go with Mexico. Race number three here today from Mexico. This is the first of 11 road courses on our schedule this season. Not to mention it is the first race of the Road Course Championship. Anyway, starting on pole today will be Rodney Crouch, and to his outside will be Karen James in that 39. So, anyway, this is race number three. You did see the knockout qualifying results. This is the last time those 13 cars will all qualify to make the race on time and speed as going forward after today we will be using this season's overall top 30 to determine who will make the field at a given race so obviously a lot at stake today especially for that 39 um, obviously this will be the last race as well that Tim Horton will ever have to use a champions provisional maybe Maybe. Keep in mind, he's already used one this season, being the defending champion. So he's got four more uses of the past champion provisional. Yeah, so we'll definitely see a shakeup in the top 30 after today. Anyway, you notice three dodges in that top five as well. Actually, four, technically. But anyway... Without further delay, let's roll the intro. Um, and you may have noticed, road course analyst Austin Shaw is not present today in the commentary booth. But maybe we'll go back, look back at his interpretation of how to get around Mexico. So we hope you'll stay tuned for that as well. It's going to be a, a lengthy pace lap or two around this course. So we figure we might as well use the time, right? So here's our intro, and here is Austin Shaw, our NCN Road Course Analyst, with how to get around the Mexico Raceway. We'll be right back. Through turn four. It's going to be a drag race to the line. Here we go through, I believe, what is the final turn here at Mexico. Rodney Crouch will lead him off this carousel-looking thing. It is a long drive down the front stretch. A lot of speed will be gained here in that stretch of road. But for now... We're gonna get race number. No, excuse me. We're gonna get race number three underway, and the first road course race of the road course championship is green. <laughs> Already three wide into the first corner. You see Karen James looking to get to the lead. She will not do so. The nine of Rodney Crouch will just blow by her. Oh, we got a wreck behind. The 77 is around. And it looks like this is going to be enough to bring out a full course caution. That is Casey Naneko 
up ahead you saw Carter Joey around and Giorgio Stumu his first race he's involved in a wreck that is a tough break Henry Williams the front end is all mangled on that car as well as the six of Jacob Dillon's and you see back there as well Hillary Sanchez is off in the grass this is a tough break for the 22, your most recent winner. And she is really cutting the course right there. Not a good thing. But as we go through the final turn here, and we'll race right back to the stripe. And it'll be a Dodge Top 4 as the caution flies south of the border. We'll go see what happened. Three wide entry into the turn. Never a good thing. You see the 77 Casey Nako just no room to work with. And Carter Joey the same thing back there. So let's go ahead and find the 21. There's Carter Joey. You see Giorgio Stumo. Nowhere to go. Same for Annie Thomas and the two. And his, her teammate there, Daniel Voyles. And Johnny Gardner also dragged into this, and you see it just clogs up that whole straightaway right there. Anyway, a tough break for a whole bunch of drivers here south of the border in the first road course race of the season. But we'll take you back to the green or to pit stops, whichever comes first. As we are getting ready for a restart here, Rodney Crouch is your leader, but his teammate has a little bit of an issue there. The 91 of Tim Horton has blown his engine. And that is a tough break for this 91 team as they hope to secure a top 30 position entering this weekend. And this is going to put them at a little bit of a setback for that. Up front, though, good news for Rodney Crouch, but now maybe some concern. As the pace car peels off, you got to wonder, because they are teammates out of the Dodge factory at Everham Motorsports, maybe the engine could expire on this nine car. But up front, it's Rodney Crouch, Kieran James, Dylan Young, Rob Evans, your point leader, and the 18 of Brandon Parker. That is your top five. As the green flag will wave, we're back underway at Mexico. And already three wide for second. Karen James did not get a great restart. And she is going to pay dearly for it in the, in the first few corners. As you see, Dylan Young is able to get by. But the 39 will hang on to third and will now set her sights on second, which is held by Dylan Young. Damian Blue won this race last season in that number 96 for K Automotive. Obviously, driver and team not here this year. He actually went on to win two of the road courses last season, but obviously not returned for season two. And obviously these drivers want to have a good day, not only for that top 33, but to get off to a fantastic start here in the road course championship side of things. And it looks like we'll make a clean lap here. As Rodney Crouch gets a good exit off the final corner, he'll lead another lap. But Dylan Young in his sights, looking for the lead. Not really much heavy braking there. Looks like Dylan Young's got that first corner figured out. As we'll sail off into another corner here. Karen James on the bumper of the two. Keep in mind, this is valuable points to get inside of the top 30 for that 39 team that missed Daytona. And they are looking to capitalize on that. 
And I believe our next race is Auto Club, if I'm not mistaken. This will begin the West Coast Swing before Christmas. Oh, man, Dylan Young is all over the bumper of that number nine of Rodney Crouch. Putting some heavy pressure on the race leader, forcing him to try, or trying to force the rookie to make a mistake. And he's right there, right on the rear bumper. But he'll pit. And down the pit road they come. Down to 40 miles an hour here. And you see a whole bunch of guys stay out. Mitch Collins being one of them. He will go to second. That is Dylan Young's teammate. Mike Irwin also stayed out. Oh, he gets rear-ended by the Daytona winner, Miguel Zapata. Don't know what that was about. But Miguel Zapata, maybe the brake's not working very well. He goes straight into the back of that 97 and gives them both some significant damage. That is a tough break and not a good start for him as we are actually past the halfway point now that I think of it. And Rodney Crouch is going to pick up a playoff point at the very least here today. And obviously he's going to need a very good pit stop, or that number two is going to be right on his toes. And we'll see, will there be another push entering this corner? No, there will not. You see Rodney Crouch taking a lower line through the carousel, and he will pit. Mitch Collins will join. And so will the rest of these leaders, Austin Shaw, Daryl Manning, Matthew Logan, Annie Thomas, who was involved in that earlier wreck, stayed out hoping to get a few more positions. Dylan Young is now cycling around. And hopefully that too at a fast stop if he wants to beat the number nine there. The nine not even to their pit stall yet. Here they come. And they are in. Dylan Young is through the carousel already. Right sides are going on. I don't know. Just right side tires. This is going to be not much of a close race. Dylan Young is going to go screaming by. And will take the lead. Here at Mexico. A really fast stop for that number two of Dylan Young, and he will take the race lead at the first road course race of the season. We're going to go through the field with two laps of racing to go. It is Dylan Young up top. Rodney Crouch is in second. Mitch Collins is in third. Dan Hummel is now in fourth. A good run for that 24 after blowing up last week. Brandon Parker is fifth. Rob Evans, the point leader in sixth, having a solid day. Seventh is Ben Crouch. Eighth is Samet Ozkan. Ninth is his teammate Austin Shaw battling for that position. Good run for the Hendrick guys this race. And in tenth is Trevor Collins. Eleventh is Anthony Logan. Twelfth is Daryl Manning. Thirteenth is Frodemar Otz. Another solid run for the 32. Fourteenth is Dylan Ibrahimian. 15th is Joshua Sakali, but looking for more. Back up front, though. The white flag will, wa will wave for Dylan Young. One lap to go. And he's going to have no pressure entering this final lap. He's just got to hit his marks. Doesn't have to be too aggressive here. And this will be a great start for him on the road courses. Like we had mentioned in the preview show, there are 11 of them. Half of the races are road courses this season. And obviously for Dylan Young, to start off with a win on one of these, this is 
definitely crucial for this team. And not only that, it'll put them in a playoff spot more than likely. And it'll give them the lead in the road course championship as we go through the carousel one more time. Dylan Young, excellent pit strategy today, and it'll help him get the win here at Mexico. The Florida native comes in, gets the job done today, and I believe this is his first career Carvana win. Always a great thing. Always a great feeling for the Cup Series veteran to come in here, win the race, and he is now a winner and the points leader in the Road Course Championship. Obviously still a long season to go with plenty of more road courses on the schedule. But obviously, as we enter the West Coast Swing, this is some great motivation here. And obviously, 10 more road courses that we are entering. This is great motivation for that number two team. And quite frankly, for Team Penske in general, because Mitchell Collins came home third today. Not to mention Dodge in general. Should feel very proud. Four of the top five positions were held by a Dodge. So, back to the drawing boards for the Chevys and the Fords here. Obviously. But anyway, we want to thank you for watching. We're going to show you your results and standings. And we'll see you back here for race number four, I believe, at Auto Club. Till then, goodbye everyone.